Hi friends, today we are going to learn another one important part of the optics. In the last video, in the last class, we learned the important part of the question in your board exam that is optical center and the principal focus and also the power of lenses and the relative numericals that is very common for your board exam. Today we are going to learn the action of the lens each and every year you can easily see this question in your board exam each and every year. So this is very important. Now we are going to learn action of the lenses. Let us see in case of the convex lens we know that the convex lens is called the converging lens but why we say that a convex lens is called converging lens. Let us see this is a convex lens this is a convex lens let this is be L1 this convex lens is formed by the small pieces of number of prisms and the base of each prism faces towards the center of the lens and when light ray passes through the prism light ray always bends towards the base of it that is why the light ray converge when passes through a convex lens. With the help of the ray diagram we can easily explain this. Let us see the ray diagram. These are the small pieces of prisms. These are the small pieces of prisms by which a convex lens is formed. By which a convex lens is formed and the base of the each piece of prism faces towards the center of it. Let the bold line means the base. This is number 1, number 2, number 3, number 4, number 5. Five pieces of prisms are here of which bases of base of the each prism faces towards the center of it. When the light ray passes through the prism, when the light ray passes through the prism in each case for each light ray after refraction bends towards the base of it as bends towards the base of it that means the light ray converge at a point that is why the convex lens is called converging lens. In the same way we can explain it that the concave lens is called a converging lens. So, this is the converging operation of the lens convex lens converging lens converging operation. In case of the concave lens what happened just the opposite arrangement of the prisms are here in case of the concave lens. Let's, let this is be L2, L2 be the concave lens. Also it is formed by the number of pieces of prism and the base of the each piece of prism faces in the outward of the lens, outside or outward of the lens, not towards the center of it. This is the bold line that is the base, this is the base. This is number 1, first prism, second prism, piece of the prism. This is number 3 and this is the number 4. The base of each prism faces towards the outer, the center of it. As a result, when the light ray passes through the prism, then the light ray bends towards the normal after refraction from the prism. That is why the diverging operation is found after refraction of the light rays from the after refraction of the light rays from the concave lens that is why a concave lens is called diverging lens that is why this is called diverging lens. This convex lens is also used as magnifying glass but this is very important question when a convex lens acts as a magnifying glass give the corresponding ray diagram of it. That means we have to learn the different sizes formation of image of an object if the object is placed in front of the convex lens. Let us see here. In the next ray diagram here we say that the formation of the image with respect to the object distance where the linear magnification may be less than 1, equal 1 or greater than 1. In the first case, object distance is denoted by u and image distance is denoted by v. Image distance is denoted by v. Let us, this is the lens L1, always convex lens. In the first case, u equal infinity, u equal infinity. That means, when the object is at infinity, then we see that 
the parallel light rays are approaches towards the lens let this is the principal focus of it that is capital f equidistant point from the optical center o let this is be the f principal focus now the light ray number one first rule the light ray passes through the optical center of the lens remains undeviated another one light ray parallel to the this is parallel to this light ray after refraction they meet at a point they meet at a point or they intersect the light ray at a point so this will be this will be the image where the object is at infinity infinite distance the image is formed at the focus so then v equal v equal f at focus and diminished real inverted and diminished image will be formed real inverted and diminished diminished image will be formed in the second case when the object moves towards the convex lens the image moves away from the lens that means when object distance decreases the image distance increases image moves away let us consider now in this red diagram we see that the object is beyond the center of curvature or beyond the 2a twice the focal length of it let this is the principal axis this is with the principal axis o be the optical center of the lens l1 this is f this is f equidistant point this is twice f similarly here in the opposite side of the lens this is f and this will be the 2f this will be 2f twice the focal length of it now the object is here object is beyond 2f u greater than twice the focal length then what happened now light ray according to the rule parallel to the principal axis after refraction through the lens passes through the principal focus of it passes through the principal focus another one light ray that through the optical center remains undeviated then what happened another one light ray through the optical center remains undeviated so this is the another one light ray they cut each other at a point and that's why this will be the a b and this will be a prime b prime let's see this a prime b prime is the image here also the a prime b prime is the image and it is formed by the actual intersection of the light rays so this will be inverted real inverted and also we see that a prime b prime is less than a b so this is diminished diminished image diminished image is formed and the see here the object distance beyond the infinity here the image is formed at the focus when the object moves towards the lens beyond the 2f the image moves away from the lens from focus now it is within the focus and twice the focus in the third condition where object is at placed at twice the focal length distance then what happens object is placed at the twice the focal length let's see here equal size image will be formed equal size image will be formed o this is f o to f equidistant point o to f now this will be o to f this will be f this is twice f equidistant point this is f and this will be 2f 2f when the object is at 2f now this is the object at the 2f now light ray parallel to the principal axis after refraction passes through the principal focus of it another one light ray through the another one light ray to the optical center remains undeviated let's see here we do not use the scale but try to draw the straight line so this will be the twice f where the size of the image a prime b prime a will be same in this red diagram almost they are same in this red diagram almost the a prime b prime and a b remain same so real inverted and equal size equal size image equal size image will be formed in another one case when the object is now in between f and 2f what happened now 4 number 4 u 
greater than the focal length you greater than the focal length but you less than twice the focal length of it in between f and 2f let's see here in between f and 2f this is the lens always here we use the term l1 for the convex lens this is optical center o to f principal focus this is 2f 2f now equidistant point by using the scale we have to mark the point of in both the direction f and this is 2f now object is in between the f and 2f parallel light falls on the lens after refraction it passes to the principal focus of it another one light led to the optical center passes to the focus also the cut at a point meet at a point that is the point and a perpendicular is drawn if we draw the perpendicular this will be the image so a prime b prime will be the corresponding image which is greater than the ab so here magnified image will be formed magnified image will be formed magnified image will be formed so this is the formation of the magnified image real magnified image by using a convex lens another one ray diagram is also here where we see that if the object is at the f similarly the image will be formed at the infinity a highly magnified image will be formed that is not necessary for our board exam okay but the last part of it if the object is placed in between f and o optical center and the principal focus of it then what happen let's see here now object is placed in between the optical center and the principal focus of it then what happen let us consider this is the convex lens l1 this is the convex lens l1 optical center this is o o be the optical center this will be the midpoint geometrical midpoint so we have to draw very carefully this is l1 this is the f f this is o now the object is here now the object is here then what happen this will be the f okay now the object is ab ab is the object now light ray parallel to the principal axis falls on the lens after refraction it passes to the principal focus another one light ray to the optical center it passes through this remains undeviated but let's see here this is the divergent beam of light so to form the image we have to extend the beam of divergent beam of light in the opposite direction of propagation of it then they cut at a point let us by using a scale we have to draw this by using a scale we have to draw the line this will be the same line and also this will be extended in the opposite side of it then they meet at a point then they meet at a point where they will meet then the virtual image will be formed so when the divergent beam is produced by the convex lens with respect to an object within the principal focus and the optical center the light should be extended in the backward direction then they meet at a point that should be denoted by the dotted line and this will be the virtual here the virtual magnified image this is virtual magnified image virtual magnified image let's see here this is very important question for the board exams for cbsc icc and for west bengal board this is very important each and every year you can see this in your question paper either directly draw a ray diagram of formation of virtual magnified image by using a convex lens or in other hand you can see this draw the corresponding ray diagram by which a magnified convex lens can be used as magnifying glass yes this operation is used for the magnifying glass this operation ray diagram is used for the magnifying glass magnifying glass and in this case the linear magnification the linear magnification means the size of the image by size of the object or image distance by object distance v by u here greater than 1 and here also greater than 1 but this is virtual this is real this is used as magnifying glass but this is not here the m equal 1 because the object and the size of the image are same when the object is at 2f distance okay this is very important in the next class we also again learn another one important part of it that is frequently found from the optics portion in each and every year in your question paper today up to this